Hey, team! Joking here, but I'm serious. Another fine Saturday uh, in the Joking Media Labs where we work on this grand playlist that we got going on. A little guide for you guys called Hitchhiker's Guide to Tyria. Uh, just a little reminder here, we do twitch stream every tuesday thursday and friday every tuesday we teach illustration every thursday we teach graphic design and on fridays we play tournaments and other fun stuff on guild wars 2 so make sure you check that out also there's a new video uh in this guide every saturday uh, so be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to get your notification. Let's get to it. This episode is all about bags. Uh, inventory, inventory, inventory. What do we do about inventory? Uh, this is an episode for you guys to obtain a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of quality of life when it comes to gaming in Guild Wars 2. So uh, follow with me and you'll learn a bunch of tips that I use to sort and manage my inventory and of course big thanks and praise to Guild Wars 2 on some incredible inventory management systems unlike every other MMO which is just way too much for me. That's why Guild Wars 2 is the one for me. Um, I'm basically married to Guild Wars 2 at this point. Um, I, I've I've even given up on trying other ones. They just they got nothing on this game. So, uh, and this is one of those major points. So our inventory panel is up here on the top uh, left of the screen, and it's also hotkey uh, I for you guys. Uh, I have mine set to a different hotkey here, so this is what we're going to be working with. As you can see, um, it's it's getting quite full, so I'll I'll show you guys how to deal with that. So first of all, uh, when dealing with inventory, I actually prefer to go to Heart of the Mist, as I described last episode, which I will leave a link in the description below to that. And at the end of the video, I will also leave a, a panel for you to click on there. So, uh, PvP, enter lobby. And we got a bit of a loading screen, no big deal. There we go. All right, you may get some um, off-putting tutorials. That's fine. Just ignore it. Uh, go into your map, which is the M key, and near the top of the map is the market area, right there. All right, and uh, as you see, when you hover over the waypoint, it even says market waypoint. So we'll just teleport over there a very very short uh, loading screen on on that one and we're now near all these vendors which is super helpful see all that all right so the first vendor we're gonna want is right in front of the market waypoint he's right there Cottrell the trader uh, in square brackets it says merchant so he sells something very important in this game uh, and that important thing is called a salvage kit. Uh, so earlier on in the game you're gonna want uh, maybe one, most likely two of these, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna get two just to be prepared. Don't want to run out in the middle of showing you guys. Um, and then I'm gonna actually walk away a bit and I'm gonna exit through these arches here and on the right is my bank. Um, so now dealing with inventory management, I'll try to have both my bank open and my bag. Okay, so a quick demonstration on how the bank works. In the bank 
uh, window, you'll see that your inventory bags are also visible. However, if you double click on something in your inventory through the account vault, the bank uh, window, it'll simply just deposit into the bank. And that's why I keep both open when dealing with my inventory. So I'll keep my inventory open and then I'll keep my uh, bank window open. Okay. So the next step here is my favorite feature when it comes to inventory management is uh, when I have a full bag and I don't know what to do, the first thing to try is click this gear near the top. Okay, top right. And over here you'll see something called deposit all materials. So we're gonna click that. And as you see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six fresh open spots. Now, where did all those things go? Well, those were materials. They were crafting materials. And in the account vault, you can access all your crafting materials by going down one tab on the left here and they just sort automatically into the crafting mats uh, tab of the bank, uh, which is very useful. And if you ever go later on and start doing some crafting, uh, the crafting table will have access to the bank's uh, crafting tab. So it's very useful. All right, next step. We've now created a little bit of room. We're gonna start using all the bags available to us. Uh, so we're just gonna hover, and it's very important to note that if you ever have any questions about what anything does, just hover. So as you see here, this three cogs, trophy, soul bound, and it's gray. Gray just means it's trash. And I will explain that a little bit later. So we're gonna start moving our trash to one side so we can be a little more organized. Okay, I think we have one more thing to trash here. All right. Okay. Um, oh, here, we got a bag. So see, I hover over it and it says, enhanced mighty leggings, double click to open contains leggings that are more powerful than standard level 5 leggings. Let's see. Oh, so I open it and it gives me a choice between light, medium, and heavy leggings, uh, which could be very useful in the early uh, parts of the game. So uh, we are a heavy wearer, as you see. We can't wear the, me the light medium armor and we can't wear the medium seat armor class unusable so we're gonna grab that and click accept yes okay we got that and we're just gonna oh see see what it says it says uh, would you like to soul bind duty bound thigh guards okay um, so for you guys I do recommend doing it and just to show you I'm gonna go yes on these all right just to show you it now replaced the white ones that I have on, which is a common material or a common equipable. Okay, and we got a helm. So same thing. Okay, yes, and we got a helm. And we're gonna equip it. There we go. We now have our first helmet on and it gave us an achievement. Hurrah, hooray. Uh, continuing, any other consumable bags that we can open? Oh, look at this. A bag of transmutation charges. This must have come just from logging in uh, as a daily bonus. So we're going to open that and look. Double click to receive one transmutation charge that can be spent in the wardrobe. Okay, well that's great. Um, we can double click, but just to show you, there's another tri trick. There's three here. So if I double click, I will use one of the three, but I can actually right click and go consume all. All right, so that was very simple and straightforward. Next, we have all these equipments that we don't want to equip. 
because we already have C. Uh, when you hover over a piece of gear, it shows uh, the one you're hovering is closest to the mouse. And then on the right, it says Yusufine Queen Offhand, what you already have equipped. And as you see, it's highlighted in green because the stats are higher. So we don't want to equip this precise softwood torch. And we already have a mace. Oh, this mace is better. So we're going to double click and it'll just replace it. All right. Uh, next. Boots. Oh, look, we can upgrade our boots. All right. Shield. Uh, I think we'd rather have that torch. And we're not going to use that rifle. All right. So now, what are these salvage kits that I just bought? When we double click it, it gives us a recycle symbol. Uh, so, anything that is not in red, we can now begin to recycle. So, we got these gloves, it just turned into copper ore. We got this torch, it just turned into some wood. And look, we got a bonus. We got something called Essence of Luck. Essence of Luck gives 10 luck. I will very shortly explain to you because we're still in the consumables uh, discussion. So I'll just finish doing the salvaging. One more like that. See, got some more copper. One more there. One more there. Now it's important to keep in mind that anything that is a starter piece of equipment, it won't let you salvage. The game isn't into giving you too much freebie. All right, so now we've done all that salvaging, so we're happy about that. We're gonna go back and use our options panel and deposit all materials. As you see, they go away. All right. Now, these essence of luck. I'm just gonna right click and go consume all, but I will quickly show you where that affects. So the effect of essence of luck is right here. It's a stat called Magic Find, and the way you see the progress of your Magic Find game is in this bottom tab of your hero panel in Achievements, okay? And as you scroll down, it shows you here, Magic Find 139 across my whole account, which is what that does, and Luck. So prior to using those two uh, Essence of Luck, we were at 3,755, now we're at 3,765, because we gained 10. Oh, sorry, so we would have been at 45, because we gained 10 each and we consumed 2. So, pretty straightforward. Um, let's, let's continue now. Alright, so we have another consumable here, and it says double click to consume gain a boon that reduces incoming damage by 5% for one hour. Does not work in PvP, world vs. world, or raids. So we're going to keep this in our inventory and next time we're adventuring we're going to right click or double click and consume it. Uh, now we got all this trash. We've already deposited everything into our material storage. So something else to note you can move anything that is not soul bound to a character into the bank and it will be accessible to the rest of your characters on the same account simply by going to any banker. Okay, um, so now we have a bunch of this trash here. We're gonna X out of the bank and the inventory and we're gonna go for a tiny little walk and this works in just about any of these vendors. So this guy, this guy, uh, probably any of these, and the initial merchant that we talked to. And just go to the cell. And as you see, all these grays, with the push of one button, sell junk, they will all get sold. And on the right side of the screen, it shows exactly what everything sold for. And if we open our inventory, it's now all gone. Okay, so now here's something else. We got this chainmail foot gear and chainmail leggings. They were not great, so it doesn't get affected by the cell junk panel. Okay, so it's important 
to note that and if you don't want them in your inventory simply double click or click the cell button and you can now X out oh, quality of life and ease now one last little note during your adventures you will gain more silver and copper as you go I want to know I want you to know that at vendors as such he sells leather bags and they have four slots as you see I have one leather bag equipped down here but a little extra tip if you can save a little bit of silver you can go in your black lion trading company so either up top but if you click up top still make sure you're near the trading post and I'll show you why uh, or just walk up to a trading post vendor and uh, use your action key or talk to them and now look here we're in the trading post and there's a little button called inventory bags and we can click that and we can sort by price and we're gonna go from cheapest and we're gonna look oh look for cheaper than the four bag slot is an 18 copper eight bit eight slot bag but if we go a little further because we probably have a couple silver look at this a Wrangler's bag is 24 silver and it's nine slots um, so just keep in mind it's a great way to expand your inventory uh, I recommend it so I'll just show you guys how I do that I'm just gonna get an eight slot bag and just one I'm gonna click buy instantly and that will buy one that is already available if I click order instead I can order at a cheaper price but I will have to wait for someone to want to sell it to me at my ordered price so because I'm in a bit of a rush here I'm just gonna go the cheapest available price and buy instantly now after I've bought it as you see it's not in my inventory it's in the delivery box and that's why it's important to be at the NPC the non-player character for the black lion trading company because I can now walk to this NPC and pick up whatever is in my delivery box as you can see up here I, uh, I have my transactions with things for sale and as they sell funds will funnel into my delivery box and so will the things I buy so I'll simply click take all as you see my currency went up and I got this nifty rawhide leather pack and when I click and drag it I can add it in here and I replace the four slot bag because I want it to be in the second and as you see it simply just expanded the quantity of slots there and I'll add my four slot bag and there you go a couple more little tips if you guys have the path of fire or heart of thorns expansions you may have shared inventory slots these go all the way across all your characters so it might be a quality of life thing to keep a salvage kit up there and that way you're not constantly getting your better salvage kits uh, in the bank and running back and forth it's up to you and some other little nifty tricks in the inventory uh, up here at the gear where we did deposit all materials I do want to show you guys there is hide and show rarity so that's good to know and the rarities go gray white blue green yellow orange pink purple all right we can do another full episode about that later or we can discuss it briefly at the end of this video next uh, we have hide new item highlights so we can hide and show this um, basically it just gives uh, anything that's new in the bag a glow uh, which you can experiment yourself and 
we have the hide bags option which just removes the ability to compress and instead it just uh, makes everything one big bag. So if that's the kind of style you like then that is a way to do that. And then of course the shared bag you can embed or separate. That is also something you can do. And the final thing I wanted to show you, and that's why these are down here, is to show you the compact option. So let's say everything is a big mess in our inventory. We can simply press compact and it pushes everything to the top and left. And that's about everything about basic inventory management. Thank you guys for watching this segment. I will be right back, probably within the same video, which I always wondered why video creators always do this and say I'll be right back, even though they're not, they're still here because they edit the clips together, but I'm here telling you that I'll be right back. Uh, that's because I'm not recording it all in one day and I'm not, I'm just being silly guys, that's all I'm doing. Uh, so, just keep watching. I'm right here, and we're going to talk about some more advanced inventory right now. Right? Right now. Let's do it. All right. And here we are. Yeah. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, we're now here on my higher level character, my main character that I, I well... I call my main. Uh, this is Joe King, and uh, he's a necromancer. Uh, say hi, Joe King. <laughs> Alright, anyways, enough of that. Um, so as I was just saying, uh, we're gonna take a quick look at what sorting your inventory could look like. Uh, closer to the late game. Uh, I know this is a beginner guide, but I want something for you guys to maybe look forward and to show you guys that it's not all as simple, but also not all as complicated as it seems. So, uh, Joking has quite a big inventory. We're gonna go over to our marketplace waypoint, just like we did before. Uh, right there. Yes. And we're gonna head over to, first of all, uh, any merchant. So on the other character, I was at the merchant over there. Uh, and this time I'm here. Same function, which is just being able to sell junk. So I'm gonna start by making a bit of room and going sell junk. All right, made about uh, one silver. All right, now we're gonna go over to our bank and open our inventory. So in our inventory, as you can see, it could be quite a bit more full later game and also uh, I guess something else that I should know is that you will have a lot more bags later in the game and you can also always get more bag slots for additional gems. Uh, so first off I did just sell junk so I'm gonna compact and then I'm just gonna st I'm gonna get at it. So first just like last time do all my bags all my consumable opens uh, and I'll keep compacting and depositing uh, as I do it just to make sure I keep the room and we're gonna deposit again and then we'll open these two and then I'll open this heavy bag and we're just gonna keep working our way up And 
I'm not gonna do this too slow just because I wanted to show you guys this is liquid karma um, because if I sit here explaining every single step we'll be here till tonight so I'm just gonna keep opening more bags six bags of coins I can just go use all and it just gave me a bunch of silver um, and then we got these little chests these are from dailies which just gave me some karma we'll consume all open these from PvP reward tracks uh, any others right here a bag of wondrous goods use all here's a bag to open and again if you're ever just confused what something does hover over it and you will have some sort of idea. All right, another reward track. Oh, cool, another super axe skin. So in that case, something like this, I like to keep for later. Move it down. Okay, um, more consumable bags and another daily. Go deposit all materials and compact one more time and then we're gonna do some salvaging so I wanted to show you guys these mystic salvage kits which you could earn simply by going to the gem store and getting these mystic forge stones but also as you do dailies and log in and and various other things you will slowly earn these I tend to save them specifically for this reason um, but there's other things you could do with Mystic Forge Stones. So by all means, do what you feel is best for you with the Mystic Forge Stones. Um, I use it on crafting these, which I will probably put up somewhere here a little uh, recipe to throw in the Mystic Forge. Uh, and also, I'll probably leave the wiki link in the description below. Uh, so anyways, we're going to continue here. Uh, we're going to double click our Mystic Salvage Kit, which has 225 uh, charges by default. And we're going to just salvage everything we can. That is a piece of equipment or a salvageable. Alrighty. Okay. Now, see here, there's these three pieces of unidentified gear. We got common, uh, common, and then, I don't know, this doesn't say uncommon, but uncommon, and then rare. Uh, we can simply salvage these, but your magic find is applied. So I actually want to say that I recommend opening them all and doing the salvage as you open them so I tend to let them stack and then have the inventory spot space for it uh, so I'm gonna do one more deposit all I'm gonna compact and something I want you guys to notice so these bags here slot safe box invisible bag and Omicron bandolier there's several bag types like this but basically these three bags will avoid your compact your deposit all materials and even your sell junk and selling to vendors and the trading post see i can only buy more at trading post it doesn't give me the sell option whereas if i move it out of this now i can sell it at the trading post so just to note that these are supposed to be my full bags and I keep them near the bottom, all right? Um, so uh, as you see here, there's some things that should have deposited into my account. Um, it is actually, they are not being deposited because they are full in the account vault. So. What do I do about that? I craft, or you can, so you can craft with them, or you could sell at the trading post for way less 
that's why I don't recommend selling at the trading post. I mean, 90 cents a piece, that's 10 silver. It's not going to make a huge difference. Um, so I just wanted to say that it's a possibility for you to do. Um, these, however, I do sell at the trading post. Uh, or you can, I think you can salvage them. They're not too important. Uh, you can also just vendor them which lately I have just been vendoring things like that just because uh, they're it's not really worth the time to like upgrade them in the mystic forge and then the amount of currency you get for that again not too worth it uh, and also so up here I ended up buying this before I ended up earning a few more mystic forge uh, stones so actually I should be using these first um, I'll take care of that uh, what else here so this I don't I don't need this on this character but I may on any future characters or on Yusufine Queen so I can now open the bank and start to throw things in there um, I can also salvage these to exotics or some ectos uh, which I put on here from another character so I'll start to deposit the things that I don't want to deal with yet such as these um, these mats that I'll be crafting with later maybe in a future video um, I've been stacking these tomes of knowledge because uh, if I make an alt I can use them to quickly boost to 80 or I can also convert them to uh, spirit shards which is pretty useful it's a way to upgrade crafting mats so something else to consider um, I'm gonna pull out those die kits because I like to always have a nice stack on me I give away dies during my live stream every Tuesday Thursday and Friday so make sure you come check it out I'm going to pull out these baubles to add to the stacks of baubles I already have, uh, which are right here. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys, so everything up here that I have, these automatically get compacted and I kind of just leave them here. These are things such as map currencies quest objectives and stuff like that and I just let them pile up uh, or sometimes something like these skirmish chests these are from doing PvP but opening it opens up this vendor and it lets you use it for for these various things that will help you in world vs world so I like to keep them in my inventory as that currency in case I'm out in world vs world and end up needing a siege equipment or something so that's another thing that I do is I tend to keep things in my inventory as well I, I don't fully clear my inventory all the time um, so I'm just gonna continue to to work on clearing things um, so I have these exotics here which are great for salvaging because they give you uh, have globs of ectoplasm but I do want to show you something is that before salvaging something an ectoplasm is worth about 30 silver okay so I always before salvaging I will right click on an item and I'll just see is it worth putting up in the trading post so this one here is if I want to sell it now it's 32 uh, if I want to list it it's 39 it's not worth putting in the trading post um, I don't have anything else here to show you that might be better. Oh, I do uh, already in the trading post. So uh, we can go to our transactions. And as you see here, I have this Ogden's mantle. It's worth about four gold. See, 375. So instead of putting it up here uh it's been up for four years since 2016 so that price probably changed we're gonna go cancel 
Uh, same with this, four years. We're gonna cancel that. And we'll just double check what their value is uh, right away here. But first, I'm gonna continue to open up things and we can do our trading post stuff later on. Uh, so, we're gonna start by a opening our unidentified gear so we're just gonna move things out of the way um, this is a consumable it turns us into a nightmare husk so I mean it's not worth much I'm just gonna destroy it you guys can use it it looks cool it's a one-time use thing um, now I can compact and begin to use these. So we're just going to use uncommons. And as you see here, uh, I'm starting to get uncommons from the common. See common and unidentified gear and I'm getting greens. That's because this is affected by my magic find. And my magic find is currently at about, not about exactly. Um, 139 and counting um, and actually I can increase my magic find a little bit as you see here uh, 269 because of this celebration booster which is about to expire in four hours uh, and then another 30 magic find from the event bonus and then uh, I move faster in cities which isn't a big deal Okay, so we're gonna continue And I'll just open these all so look at this from a common unidentified gear. I got a rare All right, so it's something to keep in mind It's worth it to stack your magic find and to open these because if you just straight up salvage them you're gonna miss out on Opening better things to salvage okay, and we're gonna Stop at about here because I don't like things to overflow into my bandolier and I'm gonna start salvaging now Okay, and because of the the warning I skip the rares. I do all the rares at the same time uh, And then something to note is that you can actually right click here and go salvage all rares salvage all magic work and uh, master work and lower so not uncommon master uh, salvage all fine and lower uh, that does work however if you have things in your bandolier bandolier is not like an invisible bag so salvaging is um, is affected by it and same with depositing so things such as these unidentified dies which are salvageable they will get caught up in the salvage all so it's kind of important to me to keep my dies i could put them in the invisible bag uh but that's not really what i want to do uh right now because it would take reorganizing i mean i could just to show you guys and I mean it would improve my quality of life so I'm gonna deposit my um, world vs world siege equipment I'll put that there um, but also something for you guys to know in doing that in salvaging all so I'm actually going to put this here too just so you guys can see what it does because if I were to open a bunch of these and you can split stacks by holding alt so I'm gonna make a stack of five just as an example for you guys I'm gonna put that there too and then when I right click and go salvage all fine and lower it's gonna include the unidentified gears as you see do you see that they we're gone so that's another reason why I don't really like the salvage all functions um, it is a good quality of life but if you're trying to maximize your use of magic find then I definitely uh, recommend just taking the time to do it 
So back at it. Now um, let's see. Let's keep rolling. Also, opening all these is fun. Like seeing a, a rare come out of a of a common identified gear is really cool. So it's fun to to take the time and do this. And a little therapeutic, if you ask me. Okay, and we're now at the 67 pieces of un uncommon or masterwork. So we're going to compact, deposit all materials, compact again, and we'll get at this. Mm. One rare out of a whole bag full. Alright. Just gonna finish off this. Salvage kit, and now we can go back to our mystic salvage kit. Alright, and back at this. At it. There we go. Okay, and six rares. And then we will deposit all materials again, compact. And we have all these rares and exotics to salvage, so we'll go ahead and do that. And as I said, uh, it would give you a warning just in case. We're gonna just keep at it. And see, this is the goal with the rares and exotics when you're salvaging. You want these ectos. They're very useful in many recipes, not just for crafting, but also for mystic forging, which can be another episode. Done. All right. And uh, we also have these things from the Fractals of the Mist. We're going to use as many as we can to open our Fractal Encryptions, which is another form of consumable bags. And we're just going to open them all. And something you'll notice that they give is a lot of uh, junk, literally. But that is actually great. It's something we really want. Uh, as you'll see, these are valuable junks. Like 50 silver per one. Um, this here, 25 silver. This here, 60 silver. 20. So just opening these is a bunch of gold in our pocket. And then some relics showed up. And... There you have it, a bunch more junk. We'll try to deposit all materials and we'll compact. And as you see here, uh, we have a pretty full um, material storage. So we are definitely going to do some crafting soon uh, with all these extra materials. And from this point I can put this in here for my other character to be able to skin the back these on that cute little guardian called Yusufine Queen uh, and now it's time to go back to a merchant so we'll head over to our weaponsmith and uh, first of all, we'll sell junk, so notice here, 220, and 
we made four gold mostly from the fractal encryptions. All right, something else I do want to note here is I'm going to sell these uh, med medallions and sigils and this jewel. Alrighty, and then we're going to go back here to our bank because I noticed something else. And yes, it's a lot of back and forth. Uh, there's Everyone's always got their own form of efficiency. So go ahead and criticize me. Um, also with these Ascendeds, you are supposed to use the Ascended Salvage tool. I'm just still in the, in the mode where I've only ever focused on one character my entire Guild Wars 2 career. So I've always sort of thought of making more characters and playing those other characters so I've just kept these for that reason and I totally will and that's why I haven't started salvaging these yet because I don't know which builds I'm gonna go with uh, but so these are ascended salvage tools and they give they're very useful uh, uh, for salvaging ascended specifically because you can just salvage an ascended but you won't get the uh, the dark energy and other items, the other crafting items. Um, so we're gonna deposit more of our currency here, try to keep things tidy. Uh, what else do we got in here that can be deposited? We got our resonating slivers. Um, I think I have more of these. I'm trying to save them. They drop from something in Fractals of the Mist, and you can like combine a whole bunch of them, or you could sell at the trading post. I think it's 250 of them, but they're so cheap, like totally not worth it. You may as well add to account wardrobe, which I already did. Uh, and then lastly, what I like to do is open my bag here and then I like to show you guys these here. So I'm going to show you on the right what happens and in my hero tab. So, uh, achievements, we're going to hover over the magic line and we're going to watch what happens. So I'll start with the essence of luck, 10 each. We're going to consume all. See that? We went up to 5,025. Now we're going to do the masterwork essence of luck. And we went up to 6,475. And now we're gonna do the rare Essence of Luck. And finally, the Essence of Luck that is exotic, which will give us 200. And we're already almost at 140 magic finds. So always use your Essences of Luck to increase your magic find. Um, that is everything also I did want to mention my inventory is usually a little bit lighter however right now is the super adventure box so I'm sort of just stacking all these super adventure box currencies uh, if you want to see a little bit about the super adventure box I will also add something in the description below uh, that concludes everything so uh, let's, uh, let's say goodbye. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to take a brief moment and, uh, I don't even, I don't even know how to express just a huge thank you to everyone, uh, who's been tuning in to the previous videos. I really, again, I hope they're helpful. I know getting into a new MMO can be challenging. I've been an MMO player since way back in the day, like uh, EverQuest, Ragnarok Online, and, and uh, even Guild Wars Classic. And I, I've experienced the daunting, um, the daunting experience 
way too many times and uh, with Guild Wars 2 being the MMO for me, the one I'm going to probably stick to to the end of time, um, I just I figured that I would do this for all you newer players and whether you're experienced to MMOs or not, I hope I can present some valuable information. Uh, so once again, from the bottom of my soul, thank you guys for, for tuning in and I hope I again I hope you're appreciating the content. Uh, this particular video uh, took much longer than I anticipated, both to produce and to film, and even the end result. I think it's about an hour or so. So, um, anyways, uh, again, super super thankful and grateful for for all the feedback and the help, and I I just. I can't thank you guys enough so <laughs> thank you uh and again if there's any other questions any other feedback anything you want to say to me personally i do leave my twitch link and other social medias in the description below um and those of you who have been helpful on the reddit and the other communities uh helping me uh with um with the youtube uh content and giving me my critiques that I've been asking for. I really appreciate that too. Thank you guys. Honestly, everyone, thank you. Send me some love in the comments below. Uh, tell me what's good or bad about the videos. That's what I want to know. Um, I I'm going to stop blabbing my huge mouth. Thank you so much, guys. Peace out. We'll catch you next week. Thank you.